Hey guys, so this is my much requested everyday makeup look tutorial. I'm going to show you what I do every day when I do wear makeup. This is how I do it. So I hope you enjoy. Here we go. First things first, I'm going to prep my skin with Mario Badescu's Rose Water Spray and spraying that all over my face. And then I'm going in with my Embroilies Moisturizer. I love this moisturizer whenever I prep my skin for makeup. Then I'm using Becca Cosmetics Backlight Priming Filter to prime my skin. Then I'm going to apply Farsali's Rose Gold Elixir all over my skin. This is one of my all-time favorites and you only need a few drops to really get the job done. It's just going to make this surface a lot smoother and ready for our foundation. For my foundation, I'm using Giorgio Armani's Luminous Silk Foundation and I really love this foundation. It's lightweight and it just makes me feel like I'm not wearing makeup even when I am. Now I'm going in with Max NC45 Studio Finish Concealer and I like to put a few drops of my Farsali oil in there just to give the product a little bit more movement, makes it um, blend into my skin a lot better. Tarte's Maracua Creaseless Concealer in Tan Deep and I just put that underneath my eyes and kind of use it as a highlighting concealer versus a concealing concealer. That's what my last one was for. It's a little confusing but this is how I like to do it so you can skip this step if you want to but this is what I like to do. Next, I'm using a brown Iman Cosmetics Foundation Stick to contour. Clearly, I don't know how to dab. That one wasn't any better. But I'm going to go in and I'm going to blend out that contour all over my face and make sure that there's no lines left. The last thing you want is contour that looks like contour. You want it to look just like your skin and it's great to use creams on creams and then use powders afterwards. Next is Laura Mercier's Holy Grail of Translucent Powders. You can see I'm worshipping it. I'm going to use that to set my concealer and any areas that might still be a little bit wet because my skin is a little oily, I don't want to get oily throughout the day, so I really pack that powder in there and just press it into my skin. Baking takes forever and it's actually the most tedious of tasks, but you have to do it just for a little bit. Now I'm just going to press that powder in to make sure that it's all set. And then to set my contour, I'm using Max Blunt and it's actually a blush but I'm gonna use it as a contour in this case. For my blush, I'm going to apply NARS's Love Joy. I absolutely love this blush. It's like a nice rosy pink. It has a little bit of shimmer to it and I think it's a great everyday blush. Now for my highlight, I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sun Dipped and I'm gonna use the color Summer. I like to apply my highlight to the tops of my cheeks, the bridge of my nose, and my upper lip. Now for one of my favorites, Max Prep and Prime, just to seal it all in. This is an amazing product. If you don't have this spray, you definitely need it. And I'm gonna brush up my brows so that I can get ready to start those. Now I'm going to lightly fill in my brows. This is a eyebrow pencil from MAC. It's called Spiked and it's just a great brown brow pencil. And to get that nice everyday natural brow, I like to fill in my brows but also brush them out at the same time just so they get a nice bushy look and they don't look too filled in. You don't want them to look too filled in for your everyday. 
just give it a natural look. For my eyeshadow, I'm using the Nubian palette from Juvia's Place, and for my everyday look, I usually just like to do a beige, that's why I don't feel the need to do my eyes before I do the rest of my face. There's not going to be any fallout, and it's just an easy, breezy, beautiful transition. So if you need a neutral palette, this one is definitely a good one. A little beige on the lid, and a little shimmer on the brow bone, and that is it. Now because I have lash extensions, sometimes I get a little bit of powder fallout on them, so I just like to brush them out with a damp spoolie. And you honestly can stop there, a little bit of Listex goes a long way, but I like to apply just a simple everyday lip. I'm going to use this light brown NK liner that I got from the beauty supply store. And one of my all time favorite everyday lips, this is NYX Cosmetics Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi, and this combo is just amazing. And that is it for my everyday makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed and comment and subscribe. Bye guys.